Today we're going from Barcoon, I'll show you where we are right in the woods, a little stream, it's really muddy, not raining yet, supposed to. Um, we're going through a place called Barcoon, down to a lost medieval village called Hamsey, which is on the River Ouse, just up from Lewis, um, and there's a church there, stuff like that, so we'll talk a bit more as we go along. But yeah, um, really muddy here, so I'm not going to walk and talk on this bit, because we're liable to fall over. But yeah, you can probably see the stream there and we're just about to cross this bridge. So I'll catch you in a bit. So we're still a bit outside Barkham, a bit more about Barkham, uh, which as I say is a little ways from Lewis. It was in the Doomsday Book under Burchamp, and I think it comes from probably Saxon name, Barley Fields. Uh, somewhere around here there was evidence of a Roman villa up until 300 AD, and apart from Steve Coogan living nearby, the last thing was I know there was a couple of railway lines. Uh, one of which is now the Bluebell line um, and they were shut by beaching by the 60s, late 60s. I'll give you a quick spin around, there's not an awful lot to see because we're in a field. It's flat, mainly flat today. We're in the weald, uh, the other side of the down, so it's going to be flat. Travis! So yeah, we're sort of heading, where are we? I can't really show you the view, amazing views, so we're not up high. I think it's roughly that way. Uh, slightly left, then we get to River Ouse, and then I'll tell you all about when we get there the abandoned medieval village of Hamsey. Okay, let's push on. So, a bit further on, as you'll see, the rain gear is out. We bought the rain trousers anyway, it's supposed to be drizzling all day, um, and I can't complain. I had, of my last walk, I had a couple of months, well, with no rain. So we're prepared for a bit of drizzle today. Um, a bit further on towards Hamsey, just walking across open fields. I'll give you a quick view. Yeah. So we're heading that way. There's a road there, and then we're going to turn right. Uh, Downs. Downs Hills. Uh, we, I think Hamsey's going to be somewhere around there. So we're sort of doing around there, around there, around there. Uh, we came from over that way, Balkan. Yeah, it's really starting to get rainy. Oh yeah, I thought I'd mention, I started a walking club with people from work. Um, so we did our first one last week. We do it once a month. Oh, no. What's the matter? No. Well, that's what happens with rain. So yeah, so that's a bit of fun. I've got a few people going to that. Um, probably not going to video it yet. I'd have to sort of talk to them all and they want to just enjoy being out for a walk, not be film stars. <laughs> anyway, we'll carry on. Catch you in a bit. Okay. Um, it's been very wet, but we have finally made it to Old Hamsey, or Hamsey. Um, and we're actually at Old St. Peter's, um, the original church at Hamsey. Uh, I was in the Doomsday Book. Um, what can I tell you about this? 1100s. Uh, there was a whole medieval village here, which we'll have a look at if I can in a bit. Someone said there was about a thousand people lived here. I'm not sure if it was that many, but it was a big old uh, village 
on the edge of the ooze and then they reckon most of it, it, it disappeared after the Black Death. And the only thing left is this church. Um, it's got all the rectors going back to 1147, a guy called Edwin. It's amazing and it, it almost got knocked down apparently in Victorian times because it's, it's not abandoned, it is used very occasionally. Um, but it's in the middle of nowhere because there is no village now. And apparently the Victorians were talking about knocking it down at one time. We'll see if it's open. But um, luckily it's still here. Let's have a look. Wow. In you come, Trav. Amazing. It is open. So yeah, it's really old. Um, so it's not abandoned, but it's just not used for regular services. But when there was a village here, this is all that really remains of Old Offham village. Um, now King Athelstan apparently held court in Hamsey. So we're talking 900s, it goes back away. So it was a big place. I mean, uh, they probably would have seen Lewis as a small place. I'll show you that. Old Hamsey Church from Doomsday to today. I'm gonna take that. But wow, here you go. I'd love to have lunch in here, but I wouldn't. I don't think it's the right thing to do. So we'll have lunch outside. But yeah, it was worth it. We got rained on a lot, didn't we Trav? But what an amazing place, amazing church. So yeah, we'll see if we can have a look around after lunch. Um, quick look around at Hamsey, although the rest of it, as I say, is gone. It's one of my usual disappeared medieval villages. We can't see anything. I seem to be making a habit of visiting them. But as I say, the church is spectacular. Okay. Cup of tea. Got check. Yep. Wet lunch. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> sorry, you're walking to the I'm sorry. Right, so we're actually um, had lunch, as you saw. We're actually in the graveyard, and it's pretty big for a tiny little, well, for a church, which is in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to see if I can show you where village well it was all around here and um, we can't get down to it but basically it's all down behind me and we're all round really you know I reckon thousands people I don't know but it was big you know especially if you think if and it was Ethelston held court here it can't have been a tiny place um, but yeah after it all disappeared from what I gathered um, they, they then started a new village further up called Offham. So this is Hamsey, Offham, uh, village of Hamsey. Um, so this one just fell, disappeared, and they now have Offham. But we still have, as you can see behind me, the one thing left, the church. But you can imagine what it might have been like back in our medieval days when it was buzzing. All right, so we're just gonna really now enjoy the rain and push on back to Barkham. Catch you in a bit. Back in the car, um, we made it. It was hard going, I'll be honest, because um, in the morning it was just constant drizzly rain. And then over lunch, we had a, a wet lunch, but we did get a bench. And then it did stop in the afternoon, apart from a little tiny bit of drizzle, but it was so hard going because all the paths were really, really muddy. Poor old Trav nearly fell over, didn't you? Yeah. But didn't, you know. So I'm the only one that's fallen over so far. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my feet are feeling it. It was pretty hard on, you know, there and back. Um, that side, if it wasn't 
muddy and stuff, it was really nice. Hamsey was really nice, church was something to see. Uh, by the way, it's only open, I'm guessing, on a Sunday, because there was a little sign saying open, so don't go there and get disappointed if it's shut. Um, I noticed we kept seeing all these little sign things on the signpost saying GMT, and we were actually, quite a lot of the route, we were on the Greenwich Meridian Trail. And then also we saw one called the Sussex Ooze Valley Way. So part of where we were going, crossed over those paths, we were on those for a bit, um, give you an idea of where it was. Anyway, I'll stop rabbiting on. I think it's time for our verdict. So, what's your verdict? Very good walk. Very good walk. So me, <clears throat> I'd have to split it in two. Rainy and wet, hard work. Not rainy and wet, it'd be lovely. Um, generally flat, few ups and downs. Lovely views at the end. Um, it'd be really great. So, see you next time. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Yeah.